now here in Santa Monica. We get to watch a little bit of modern hominiform progression. This is kind of fun because there's a uh, set of rings out in the old Muscle Beach area near the Santa Monica Pier. And uh, unlike uh, trained athletes or performers, the neat thing is you can come out here any day and there's dozens and dozens of just average humans arm swinging. I love to do it, don't have a lot of opportunities. Given the opportunity, anybody can swing on the arm on these rings. And though you see some of the people here uh, come out once a week or, or some of them every day and are uh, pretty adept. But what we share with the aminiformates is the placement of the shoulder blade out on our back and a flattened chest, unlike a monkey that has a kind of a narrow chest with the shoulder blades on the side. That makes it comfortable for us to have our arms up overhead. Some of these guys make it look awfully natural. So this also raises the issue of what is a particular hominiform capable of and uh, what's usual in its environment. So couldn't you have a hominiform human or otherwise, primarily involved in um, an arm swinging lifestyle. Well, certainly humans tend to walk on the ground and don't have much use for this type of capability. Nonetheless, it's well within our range. And the same issue comes up with bipedalism. Uh, if you're watching bipedalism in an orangutan, a chimp, or a gorilla, it comes up every now and then, although they're quite capable of it. So trying to infer what was the significance for a given, for a given ancestor is another challenge. But the fundamental aspects of the anatomy that allow us to do this and this is very difficult for a monkey. Only uh, modern apes and humans can really do it. Um, it's the same event, same evolutionary event that transformed the shoulder that allows all of, all of us, the hominiforms, to arm swing and uh, to be quite comfortable with it. And in fact, as we can see, certainly for humans, we enjoy it. Some of the same issues apply to bipedalism and upright posture. Monkeys can walk bipedally, dogs can walk bipedally, very occasionally. And clearly, uh, compared to chimps and gorillas, it's only the humans that use sustained, natural, continuous bipedalism. But, Simangs and Gibbons, bipedalism also, it's a major part of usual life. Even climbing, vertical movement, relatively rare for humans. But uh, something that uh, we can readily do. We well, like that rapid mo motion, the uh, quick shuttle activity of the Gibbons. Look at that roller coaster back there. Of 
course, modern technology of movement, we're not completely satisfied to walk. In order to be a uh, patriotic Santa Monica resident, you pretty much have to rollerblade. Caring of infants is always a big issue when I'm in a form of promotion. And you'll see a variety of uh, technological steps taken to uh, transport the young among the humans. The great thing about the Santa Monica Beach is I see a lot of people doing things that you see very rarely elsewhere. And uh, typical of Los Angeles, walking just isn't cool. And of course, typical of modern humans, the relentless innovation, variation, design. We love our gadgets and machines. Kids want to get involved as soon as they can. And of course, in Santa Monica, we have uh, surf and ski. Well, Santa Monica, not exactly skiing. Got to travel a few miles. And how to get your surfboard around. And individual movement proceeding into the future. Still a focus for the best of human innovation. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it.